Use me as a channel, um, angels and spirit guides and interdimensional beings. Can you come into the reading and give Libra a clear and concise message for today? Again, it can be coming from anybody, so just take it how it resonates. And if it's not your reading, it's not your reading, of course. Good luck to you all. Uh, this could be a message even for your reader because <laughs> it tends to pick up energies all abound. There's a lot here. Wow. There was a lot of a delivery. We have one, two three, four, five, and I haven't seen them yet. So we're going to turn them over. Bottom of the deck is a king of swords. So what this person wants to say is come in truthfully. Whenever you see the king of swords, they come in with integrity. That's their first position. They can also have a place of authority. They can be older than you as well. And we do have to check out these cards that we haven't seen. This is the intentions and feelings. Let's do it. It could be a heavy reading, but we'll see what we have. We have the sun, happiness, Okay, first card is usually the most important in intentions. And we see here that somebody wants to achieve happiness with you, positivity, or renew something because the sun can be taken as renewal. And you saw it in the new moon in Capricorn read. Next intention, and I don't know what they are, Knight of Pentacles. This was in your previous Libra read. It's picking up slow energy and it can be compassionate. It can also be that two of you are moving at a slow pace at this time. They could be an earth sign, and I also have a very, very staunch air sign in the King of Swords, okay? Slow and steady. They do want to achieve a type of happiness with you, with the sun, and it can be a type of warmth for you to just hear today. We're, gonna, we're also going to see why they're saying that through the sun card. The lovers, Gemini, okay? Major Arcana, and you have two of them, which is the sun to the lovers card. There's somebody who still reminisces on you, Libra, and your overall spirit is a happy person. They remember you in a certain way and a certain light, and this is coming in real sentimental. I almost want to cry in this reading. I'm getting that like furball feeling in my throat because somebody still has intentions uh, to be with you in the future. I feel like somebody did you wrong, and it's coming in more as an apology, but we're going to keep going. This can even be a new person. We see the four of wands. Someone's afraid you could get into a commitment as well in the Four of Wands, or they want this with you. Four of Wands is about gathering and celebration. It might come to be a time for that if this is a, a specific message or a Pacific too. You could be on the Pacific line of things today. And we have the Strength card, Leo. Having strength to overcome uh, struggles, okay, or even see maybe your point of view. I'm picking up on a person that genuinely adores you genuinely cares about your position in life and that you're caring and that they do see you're fulfilled at some point. So let's go here. And if I'm doing your personal, um, can you tell me more about the Libra that I'm reading for? Can you, thank you. One definitely wants to come out like forcing its way through the deck, a King of Cups. There is a Libra with transformative energy at this time. And let me just show you the King of Cups at the bottom. It is a emotional person very mentally capable of taking on the day and being strong. You have a strong sense of self, whether this is attributed to your physical strength or your physical abilities to get over something. And the Libra I'm talking to is a king of cups today. You're very mentally strong. Maybe a season of being that too much too for everyone else around you. And you could be the big leader in your family leadership qualities. Also, people look to you for advice to speak to you. You could also be somebody that is authoritative in your own energy, okay? Like people come to you just to talk to you for fair advice and your diplomatic energy. We have the sun twice in your reading, a flipper on the table here. The desk has been cleaned out too, so I decided to cleanse last night after so many readings. There's two sun cards and somebody views you as a happy person. You provide a warm sense of place for this person. It's a place for this person. All right, so Libra, you are coming out as the sun, strength, and the king of cups. Now, I want to get to this four of wands because this might mean something very specific to you or you need clarification. Why does this person coming through want to celebrate some things with Libra? What's the celebration? You have two, and I don't know what they are, of course. They either turn two ways on my desk. It's either like this on my front, or they come in a certain way, right? They are, they're either sideways, they show themselves to me, and I always tell you when I can't see them. 
So we have the Hermit and the Seven of Cups. I think this person wants to say, and this is really specific, they've had options, they could go about it in different ways. There have been certain things that have separated you from this person and a wall was put up as well. The Seven of Cups can be someone who explores their options, goes through different stages. This person seems to be awakening now to what this was. Very, very specific. It's not gonna hit everybody today, of course. And we have the Hermit card. Um, decisively alone, this person is kept to themselves. They have not been seeing other people, if that's something that you're worrying about. Okay, I feel like this was a separation. I do, because this person is now chiming back on the sun energy. What is that in the past, even? What's the sun in the past? If this is very particular to the Libra that's watching. What's the sun in the energy? An ace of wands, okay? Maybe that you went off and had a new beginning. I think that new beginning is coming in as you. You made an active choice in the recent past to do this. Someone's viewing you as really responsible. You've taken care of what you need to. You've been very strong throughout it. And they're admiring this particular card about you today. I feel it's so strong in this cold ass room that this person is admiring this type of gift that you have to carry on even through hard times. Um, here in this past January, I'm picking up on even like this last fall. This person has watched your growth and they've also seen some other people here in the reading in the past. I feel like they were connected to a big group of people and that's what's coming in here, okay? They were connected to opinions and connected to maybe not so good people as well in the Seven of Cups. What's, um, what is Libra thinking about this person? Clarification, please. The world and the Knight of Wands. You think that they come in and out and they're non-committal. You could be worried about that too. Non-committal energy is the Knight of Wands, not placing themselves in a permanent space, right? Because it's very in and out. Um, I do look at the Knight of Wands as indecisive, like somebody who just can't commit for the life of them. And this is a really specific reading, but they also view you as the world. You could have closed this out and you could have left the situation. Final answer. I think you acted as the world even. Now you're in the seven of wands sideways. Let's look at that, okay? Why why is uh, this happening? Seven of wands, please, for the three of cups. You're preparing to unite or be in a union with other people. I feel like you've made plans. And if this is any part two to the first video, because the three of cups was also there, I feel like you're looking forward to these types of events that change the course of your destiny. And you also, you know, you don't just look towards the Three of Cups. You also assess how this is going to happen in a proper fashion for you and your higher, uh, maybe even here your higher self. You're being led to these Three of Cups. Okay, big card for the last maybe four days on our channel. It's a repeat. It's also something that I'm not concerned about for you because it's a positive card. Okay, also the Empress is here in a different deck. And that's why I like to do it with different ones. I like to utilize different tools here so that you can see the energy repeats itself. You're in a very high powered state of making decisions at this time. And it is not our strong suit as people. We're very much like this. Uh, we can flip on a dime and you're in the Empress state today. Very beautiful, well taken care of, a good position to look at things clear. Okay. I'm surprised the high priestess has not even come out, which would be an operative card for you to see today. All right, so what else do they want to say? What are additional things? The emperor is here. Somebody's taking control or they'd like to. And we have a divine pair in this second reading. This is an alternate, okay? This is an alternate message to number one that posted. So there's a divine pair here that seems like they fit one another, okay? Whether this is in personality I don't want to say that they're meant to be together. The Empress and the Emperor just match each other on a frequency level. Um, and there's only one of them in the deck too. So let's see that Emperor's intentions. Can I get a shuffle for that particular Emperor, please? If this is a specific message going out to somebody that needs it. You know, maybe sometimes you just need to hear it. What is this going on here? Intentions are the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to get three, okay? This one is the... Chariot. Nice. There's some movement happening in today's energy. The chariot speaks of somebody who moves fast. Uh, the willpower is a drive. And there's also momentum actively sought here. 
this person wants to come toward you with a conversation is what I pick up. It's a very specific thing to turn some type of like connection to both of you, okay? Um, it could have something to do with all these cups, the three and the seven that you saw, and momentum is finally being reached. Either you or them is putting this forth. I feel like you're active about it too on some level, okay? Uh, what's that Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune, please. The King of Pentacles. Somebody wants a stable environment. This is what they request at this time. They're also hardworking. This is the most stable person in the entire deck because it's pentacles and it's a king. We do not have the queen here. Page of Wands. I told you you'd see him again. The page is very interesting because they come in as messengers. Keyword with, the, with that particular Wands card. There's a message here about how you've grown exponential growth with the Empress and you've stayed here for some weeks. I do want to get a tea leaf and let me just make sure I have all of them here today because I did a quick, quick shuffle on that last reading. What's the King of Pentacles intentions for this particular love read on Sunday? And here are your oracles. So let's get that. We have one or two. Yeah, we have two. There's the justice card here. This is like justice in the tea leaves. It says involvement with the law. This person is maybe finding out that justice is occurring in this situation. It's a law and order card. It's basically justice in the tea leaves. So I'll show you that again. The artwork is really beautiful, punchy. It's in this purple light and it is the gavel is justice. And maybe you brought this to this person on some level, maybe even through speaking. Some of you had this conversation with a king of pentacles. You did. And I definitely feel like it occurred I feel like thoughts were crossed and we also have older woman. This could be a signifier for you too, an older female. And it says dealings or relationship with an older woman. I feel like somebody got in the way in this specific read. Lots of opinions, okay? Uh, what else do they want to reveal here? What's this person thinking and feeling in this last setup here? Um, and it is very cold, so my fingers are kind of frozen at this time. We have broken ring. It says parting of ways in either romance or business. This could have happened or this is the realization based off of your growth. Okay. I do sense like, I'm going to tell you right now, I saw the five of swords and the five of cups shuffling on the pre-shuffle. And it even shows up in Oracle in some way. Like it'll just show hints of itself. The broken ring can also be broken promises in the past. And this is what you're walking away from. The older woman here could have been an influencing voice on the situation because we clarified for what they want to say and they realize the ring is broken already. There is no more divine love or there's no connection and they feel it. This is a very specific reading. Again, many of you onto a new love, it's not going to reach you the same way. This is clarifying a certain position with Zodiac. We also have movement here, maybe somebody establishing contact after some time. I think a lot of time has passed in this specific one. So um, thank you for your time. Um, and also everybody who comments, I do read your comments, even if they come in uneven. Sometimes they're delivered in a fashion where I don't get them right away. Uh, I want to thank everyone for commenting and supporting Libra Light these last few weeks. I've had amazing time during personals. I've been able to get to know you guys on such a great level and realize how beautiful you are on many different notes. Thank you for your time today. And I will see you probably later. I might do um, I might do a special pop-up. I'm not sure if there's enough time today. And it's round two of personals for this afternoon. So I want to thank you. And if this message resonated in any way, resonated, <laughs> excuse me, um, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for your time. And I hope this helped you in some way.